When we are working with thirds that require us to factorize, it's also implicit that we can't use a calculator. Okay, so obviously you could type that in, get your answer, at least know where you're going, but if you just give the answer, zero marks completely. The other thing that they're asking for is simplest third form. Do you remember root 18? We did a while back. And because that was made up of 9, which could be rooted as 3, and 2, which couldn't be rooted, that was your simplest third form. So that's how they are requesting the answer. So you do need to get from this type of answer to that type of answer. Okay, so we've got to try and find factors here. We've got to try and figure out how these guys are going to somehow be able to have common factors coming out of those thirds. Right now it doesn't look like anything. So my best bet is to resort to prime factors. Okay, and that remember that step I can do on the calculator. So I want to get 12 into prime factors. I'm going to leave it in a third form because it's not going to help me to put powers of a half here. Okay, so 12 can be rewritten as 2 squared times 3, so that's 4 times 3. And I've got to leave the 4 there because that's not factoring into what we've got to do right now. And then the 75 is made up of 5 squared, which is 25, times 3. Okay, so the, the bit inside the third sign, welcome to do on the calculator. As you can see, I'm doing it in my head, which means I can't prove that you can't. Okay, is there anything in common? Well, the 2 squared could be rooted. I should probably do that. And the 5 squared could also be rooted. Um, and then I'm left with root 3. Let me just break this up so you can see what's happening. This is root 2 squared times root 3. And this is 4 times root 5 squared times root 3. So you can see there's actually a common factor of 3 there. Okay, so let me do this in one step then. Let me take out the root 3 and put my leftovers in brackets. Well, what's the square root of 2 squared? It's obviously 2. And then this will be 4 times the square root of 5 squared, which is obviously 5. Okay, we'll carry on on the right-hand side. So I've got root 3 times by 2 plus 20. So that is just 22 root 3. And is that in simplest third form? You know what I'm going to do here? I will punch this into the calculator and see if the root 3 splits up the way that the 18 does. I happen to see it really isn't going to do that. But when you're uncertain, this simplest third form that you could definitely do on the calculator, but only as a baby step, not as the whole thing. Okay, the next example we need to recognize as a binomial that got squared. Normally when we talk about binomials, you think about things with x's in them. But in this case, it doesn't have an x and there's nothing I can do. And I can't just square the terms inside because there's a plus. And a plus and minus are always handbrakes. So what I've got to recognize here is this needs to be treated like a binomial squared in the same way that previously we had to recognize a dots. Okay, so recognizing question types is a huge help with questions. And here what I need to do is I need to go and put this into two brackets. When you see a binomial squared, write it out twice and FOIL it out. We all remember FOIL, that's something that nobody forgets. Okay, now I'm going to just go the long way, right? So 2 times the 2 gives me 4. 2 times 3 root 2. Think about it. It's going to be the 2 times the 3 I can do. So it's going to be 6 root 2 because the root 2 doesn't multiply with any other thirds. So I'm almost treating the root 2 like an x in my head, to be honest, for now. And it's a, it definitely is a, a way of thinking that helps. This one is also 3 root 2 times 2. So the 3 times the 2 gives me the 6 root 2. And then my last one, 3 times 3 is going to be the 9. And root 2 times root 2 is just 2. Okay, let's clean that up. 4 plus 
these are kind of like like terms aren't they because I've got six of them plus another six of them so it's like I'm taking out a root 2 as my common factor so you can look at it like that way as taking out a common factor in my head I like to think well it's actually like terms so it's 12 root 2 and then plus the 18 okay my final answer then the 18 and the and the 4 can obviously be added so there I'm getting 22 and then I've got plus 12 root 2 and it feels like a less than satisfactory answer but that really is as far as it goes and if you type that into your calculator you'll see it doesn't simplify any further. Here we've got an example that does have x's in it and we need to think about how we can square root them and as soon as we think about that we've got x to the 9 x to the 9, well that's going to be x to the 9 over 2 because there's a, a secret 2 there. That really isn't going to help me to have a power of 4.5 or 9 over 2. So I'm thinking let's try and work with what we can do for now and the 4 definitely does root. So I can work with that. So if I square root some of that I can take the 4 out and I can square root it and it'll be 2. So I'm going to end up with 2 and then this uncomfortable thing which I don't really know what to do with yet. What about the 16? The 16 can also be square rooted as 4. Okay, and then it's attached to root x to the 9. Okay, why am I not changing the thirds into powers that are fractions because I'm doing it in my head beforehand and thinking this is going to get me absolutely nowhere so that's why okay a lot of the time you can stop yourself from going down the wrong route by simply imagining what the next line would look like and realizing it's going to get you nowhere okay root x hmm. but now these guys are like terms aren't they so let's simplify further 2 minus 4 is negative 2 and then the like term is this funny thing of root x to the 9 and then it's over root x okay but 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 I can rethink this whole thing remember that one of the laws of dealing with thirds is that if you've got the same third over something um, that that has the same third you can put that as a fraction and you can see it I'm just going to rewrite it like this you can actually see it as this and suddenly it becomes a whole lot more doable because that is in itself a little fraction I'm going to put unnecessary brackets in there just so that you can see it that's actually x to the 9 over x to the 1 and then I want to square root that which I definitely can because that's going to give me x to the 9 over x to the 1 9 minus 1 gives me 8, answer goes where the big one was, right? So that's actually, this whole bracket that I've created becomes the square root of x to the 8, which is super doable because that's actually to the 8 over 2, right? So that actually becomes x to the 8 over 2, which is simply x to the 4. And so something that looked quite monstrous to begin with is actually quite straightforward.